Now you're on the Bible Forum. I'm Warren Sprouse. We're in the midst of a serious epidemic and some serious political machinations. I want to talk to you about when emotional politics rules the day. Chris Hodges is the founding and senior pastor of Church of the Highlands, a church that was began in 2001. It is a 60,000 member church of the, in Alabama and has had one of the largest congregations in the nation. But Pastor House Hodges was foolish enough to like some of Charlie Kirk's tweets. I don't know Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk is an author. He's apparently an avid tweeter. Looking at several current tweets reveals Kirk to be decidedly conservative in his views, something that today is, views, is viewed as, as insensitive and or racist. A local English teacher at one of the schools decided to catalog Hodge's likes and shared them with the press. Little did anyone know it would be the beginning of the end of the church's services at the two local high schools. Teacher Jasmine Clisby said, I do not attend Church of the Highlands. I can't see into Pastor Chris Hodge's heart, but his support for what she considered culturally insensitive views is, in her words, troubling. She said, I would be upset if this comes off as me judging him. I'm not saying he's a racist, but thanks to her smear campaign, the Birmingham Board of Education is. On Tuesday night, members voted to abruptly terminate the church's lease, ending a six-year relationship that brought the city almost a million dollars in revenue. And thanks to this ridiculous complaint, Parker and Woodlawn High Schools will no longer be home to a diverse congregation of 60,000 people. But unfortunately for the needy people of Alabama, that's just the beginning because of this manufactured controversy, the church's Christ Health Clinic will also be banned from operating, according to the Birmingham Housing Authority, who also decided Monday to ban volunteer workers. Commissioners agreed, their statement said, that Pastor Hodge's views do not reflect those of the Housing Authority nor its residents. HABD and Campus of Hope staff will continue to work with other faith-based organizations in the community to identify resources that will replace the services that have been provided. Starting immediately, the church is banned from the city's public housing communities. That means no more free COVID testing, no more free mentoring, health or social service ministries, all because Pastor Chris dared to do what millions of Americans do every day, engage on social media. Even more incredibly, both councils went ahead with this, these mob tactics, despite the pastor's sincerest apologies, which in most people's opinions weren't even necessary. If supporting Donald Trump is now grounds for eviction, then America is about to have a lot of empty properties on its hands. And yet Pastor Hodges did the humble and gracious thing, telling his congregation and the community that he was sorry for any hurt he had caused. He called it a mistake. He said he owned it. He pledged to never mindlessly scroll again and explained how he was trying to use his influence to heal the hurts of these difficult times. None of that mattered to the mob. The mob who not only ignored Pastor Chris's work in their neighborhoods, but the church's standing in the minority community. At least a third of the Highlands congregations are black and Hispanic. If anything, Hodges was respected for fighting the disen for the disenfranchised, for preaching about healing and reconciliation. As recently as last Sunday, he called the city to mutual understanding, peace, and prayer. But in this current so-called cancel culture, 
those 20 years of bridge building don't matter. Not the liberals. Liberals bent on burning down any platform but their own. And unfortunately for Birmingham, their intolerance doesn't just affect the Church of the Highlands. It affects thousands of hurting neighborhoods who leaned on Church of the Highlands for help they couldn't get anywhere else. So what in the world did Pastor Hodges tweet, you ask? Addressing George Floyd's death while under police custody on Memorial Day and the ensuing racial unrest, during a Saturday morning prayer service, Hodges explained, quote, racism, bigotry, prejudice exists. It's real and it's of the devil. White supremacy or any supremacy other than Christ is of the devil. His critics wrote, but Hodges likes, and quote, like someone who posts things that do not seem culturally sensitive to me at all. These are the same people the left wants us to believe care about the children, the minorities, and the poor. What was the point? The point was to punish this Christian for his balanced opinions. Yeah, balanced. The left hates balanced opinions. Balanced opinion not only doesn't help the cause, it often disrupts or destroys it. Logic has a way of doing that. In the end, we've learned they'll always care about punishing Christians more. We've seen it in the adoption debate, the foster care debate, even the virus outreach. Now, to no one's surprise, they're willing to let Birmingham families suffer over a handful of likes. What if everyone was held to that standard? What if we combed through these public servants' accounts? What would we find? Political objectivity or the raging hatred and bitterness that's led to these baseless attacks? Pastor Hodge, Hodge has urged these people, he says, I would love for you to not just look at a microscopic zoom in, but look at the totality of 37 years of ministry and 19 years as a church. If you look at that, it will be abundantly clear that we value every person. Unfortunately for Birmingham and so many others, the left can't say the same thing. It's not how they operate. 